Migros TV'ye hoş geldiniz arkadaşlar. Bu videomuzda Tibor Plyce ile birlikteyiz. Bugün ona hem beslenmesiyle alakalı hem de yeme içme alışkanlıkları ile alakalı bazı sorular soracağım. Hello Tibor, how are you? Hello, hoş geldiniz. Nasılsın? Hoş bulduk. İyi. İyiyim, sen nasılsın? <gülüyor> İyiyim, teşekkürler. I'm gonna ask you some questions about nutrition and your eating habits. So if you're ready, I'm going to start the first one. Ready to go. All right. What is your favorite food? Um, it's a good question because I'm really eating everything, almost everything. But I would say my favorite is sushi. Sushi. I love sushi. Yeah. All right. Can you describe your favorite dessert to me without saying its name? I mean, how does it look like? And I will try to the guess. The thing is, I'm more a salty person. Like I like sweets, but not too much. All right. But if we talk about sweets, don't you have one favorite special? dessert? Special. Something I cannot live without. Yeah. Okay. Go on, don't you like desserts? I do, but I don't eat so much. Like I, I just eat maybe once a week, I eat like a little piece of chocolate. It's enough for me. Oh like I, I don't need so much really. Like for me, it's enough to eat like fruits, apple, bananas. Oh, that's good. Strawberries. That's good. I'm not, I don't eat so much. Like it's good for you. <laughs> try to stay healthy and be professional. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what do you think about Turkish food? I like it a lot. You like it? Yes. Uh, which are your favorites? Uh, I, I, I say this in many interviews, but I really like, I don't know how you do it in Turkey, but I like how you prepare the chicken, for example. The tavuk. Tavuk. I don't know how you make it, but it tastes like soft, nice. You mean donar or no, any just kind of like, just like grilled chicken. All right. I don't know. I like it. Like always in the hotels, if we go somewhere in Turkey and we eat uh, at the hotel, I like the grilled chicken the most. Like, oh, I mean, cool. I like the rice, of course. Or what some... about kebab, maybe? Of course, kebab. Like. I mean, I'm from Germany. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up with kebab. Yeah. You have it too. Yeah, I like it a lot. Are there any difference between kebabs uh, in Germany and of course. Turkey? And I have to say, it's. I know that the Turkish people here are really proud on how they prepare the kebab. Yeah. But I like the German <laughs> kebab <laughs> a lot too because I knew it a little bit better, but because for example in Germany you have the breads, then you put like okay. salad inside, like a lot of salad, then some uh, some meat, the döner meat, and then something like they would never do in Turkey, they put sauce on it, like yeah. some garlic sauce or some normal Tomato yogurt sauce. maybe. Yeah. And um, it's a whole meal, like here if I eat one döner it's not enough, I have to eat two of them. <laughs> in Germany there's everything. <laughs> All right. Do you like spending time in kitchen? Do you cook often? Um, I have to say like before last year in March, I was almost eating like every day outside because I liked to be under people, you know, like trying different restaurants and mm -hmm. I eat away all the time. But since last year, I cook every day, two For times. For pandemic reasons? Yeah, because yeah. of this. Because and uh, actually now, in the middle of last year, they opened the restaurants again but I was so used to it cooking for myself because I like eating healthy. So it's, you know, I can always make what I like. For example, yeah. I, I make sometimes Indian food, Thai food, German food. So like, you are good at it. You are a good chef, right? I have to say like I have a machine. I don't know if it's so common here in Turkey, but there is one machine who is helping me. Like there are some menus and I just have to press buttons and yeah. <laughs> they tell me what I, what I have to put. It's much so, more easier and time it's saving. way more easier, but I mean, I really like it. I make breakfast for myself in this machine. Like try to eat healthy and the right stuff to the right time. So Yeah. So what is your favorite recipe? Uh, I would say for example, like in the, in the, um, in the morning, I make always uh, porridge. Porch. Porch with uh, fruits on it and um, some uh, nuts. Always, I make it for two days. Like I make it for one day and then like I put the rest into the fridge and on the next day I can eat it. So it's really easy. Is that the best thing you can make in the kitchen? I mean, I'm asking this. No, what is I, your I think the best, best I can make, I would say really like Indian food is Indian not food. easy. It's, it's really nice with some spices, different spices, chicken tikka masala, for example. That's something I make a lot. Or I have not the best, but I have a lot of menu, like things, the meals I really one. like. Yeah. For example, like my, one of my favorite is um, Thai curry. Thai curry. It's like a little bit spicy. Then there are like potatoes, uh, carrots, inside peas. 
and uh, then some pineapple, so all kind of flavors and... Yeah, that's good. And healthy. <laughs> I have learned some information about you and everyone says that you are the funniest man of the team. Do you agree? I would say like I like to laugh, yeah. uh, especially with other people, because I mean, I have a feeling like in the world sometimes there is so uh, much negativity. So yeah. I like to be positive and if sometimes I have a bad day and I'm maybe not not so happy, but for sure, like on the next day, I leave everything behind me and I'm smiling again. So I like to smile. I, I have a feeling life is too short to be negative. So I like to joke around, smiling with players, interacting, you know, it's... Yeah, I can feel it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you are so positive. So who eats the most when you go for a dinner with the team? Me. You are the one, right? Yes. <laughs> I have always, like, I'm sitting there like with one plate of pasta, chicken, whatever, then I have a big plate of salads, whatever, and then like a soup. I think I take the most space on the table for sure. I also um, heard that uh, you drink soup uh, as a water. <laughs> what? <laughs> right? Who told you that, Momo? Uh, Mom? Should I say it? Ichan. Ichan, yeah, yeah, for sure. No, the thing is like for me sometimes, you know, when I'm starting eating like here right now, I put the soup on the table, I put the salad on the table. I don't like to go twice. Like for me, when, <laughs> okay. I, when I go to the buffet, for example, all my players, they go for the salad first, come back, eat, stand up again, uh, get you the pasta, come back, I put everything so I don't have to move anymore. So I can put my full focus on my food. <laughs> I don't want to have my, my um, pasta or my chicken, my meat uh, cold. So I start with this. Then, um, I mean, the soup is getting cold. So I cannot enjoy it anymore, like spoon by spoon when it's hot, you know, I don't have to make it get it cold. So I think it's sometimes like, hey, drink. you know, time is running. <laughs> I drink everything. All so, right. Yeah. What is your favorite section of the Migros? Migros, I would say the, the vegetable and uh, fruit section. Yeah, just plant fruit. Yeah. All I'm right. just thinking about my Migros next to me. There's like blueberries, pineapple. Very rich Africa, section. Yeah, that's a lot of options. My place to be. <laughs> so what is the most common thing you buy from Migros? Common thing? I would say right now, Maybe blueberries. Not. Blueberries. Blueberries and nuts, I think these two things. I started like really like before this pandemic started. Yeah. I had, I was, were eating like, diff I was just like eating muesli with normal fruits like banana or apple. But since then, I totally changed. Now it's like porridge with blueberries. What about breakfast? Uh, what are the differences between Turkish and German breakfast culture? And which one you prefer? <laughs> the things I really like the Turkish breakfast, especially like you have small plates everywhere. It's, there are more plates when I put <laughs> when I put on the table. Like you have so many different things. You have here, you have honey. Here you have sucuk. <laughs> you, you can choose between so many flavors. I really like it. In Germany, it's they try to, to do it similar, but <laughs> it doesn't work. I mean, in Germany, I would say we make like um, scrambled eggs, some dark breads, some tomatoes, a little bit of fresh cheese. That's it. Less but here options. you have cheese, you have meat, yeah. you have <laughs> everything. Do you like coffee? No. No? What about tea? Yes, yeah. I have a tea machine at home. Tea machine. So I make myself tea in the morning. What the kind of tea do you prefer? Um, right now I have, I have, I like Yasmin tea. Yasmin. But yeah. Turkish Yasmin tea. Ginger tea a lot. Ginger tea. Of course it's healthy. Too. Yeah. <laughs> I try to do it. Boost your immune this. system. <laughs> and uh, sometimes because I don't like tea, I don't like the bitter, bitterness of, tea, yeah. uh, of coffee. So. Um, if I need some, I have to wake up, I drink tea, uh, green tea or black tea. All right. How do you eat before and after exercise? Do you have special tips? Um, or do, do you have a routine for the training? For example, like I don't eat any foods, uh, I, any meals two hours before the practice or before right. games because the body needs to digest and needs a lot, takes a lot of energy. So I always try to not eat anything big. Like I eat maybe some fruits before the game, but 
two hours before I don't eat like a big meal. For example, on a normal practice day, if we have practice from four to six, I, I eat like uh, pasta and some, some chicken um, for lunch. And then in the evening I make, try to, to eat as fast as I can like after practice because your body needs like yeah, needs course. some food and energy so and also I you are so big so <laughs> you need much more energy <laughs> i'm still growing you know like <laughs> what can i say <laughs> yeah. are there any foods you definitely eat on game days i have my special routine on game days for example um i always eat pasta, pasta. and chicken that's something like i always eat like in the hotels Normally, like even at home, uh, home games, we are eating at the hotel. So I always try to, to have the same routine because I feel comfortable with it. So chicken, pasta, soup, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> All right, now I will give you two options and want you to choose one of them very quickly. Don't think too much. I mean, if you need, you can take I'm your time. I'm always a thinker, so All right. I can. All right. <laughs> I am starting. Okay. Baklava or Turkish delight? Baklava. Strawberry or banana? Banana. Donar or sushi? Sushi. sushi. <laughs> Red meat or fish? Fish. Fish. Popcorn or chips? That's a moment where I have to think. <laughs> I don't eat popcorn so much. I don't eat chips so much. <laughs> Let's... Chips. Chips. All right. Ice cream or yogurt? Yogurt. Yogurt. Zucchini or broccoli? Broccoli. Broccoli. Tea or coffee? Tea. Eggs or cheese? Eggs. Eggs. Chocolate or candy? Probably chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> All right, that was my last question. Thank you for being here with me today and enjoying our video. I'm really happy to see you here. Thank you very much. Bu videomuz da bu kadardı arkadaşlar. Migros TV'ye abone olmayı ve aşağıdan beğen butonuna basmayı lütfen ihmal etmeyin. Bir sonraki videomuzda görüşmek üzere. Kendinize iyi bakın. Hoşçakalın. Bye bye.